All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for tuning in. You know what it is, game day, J. Three on three freestyle basketball, randoms. I think I played with the Theo family dude before. I, I, the name looks really familiar. Maybe I got mad at him or something. It seems like somebody I played in the beginning. Maybe they upgraded. Maybe they're good at the game now. I don't know. You know, sometimes it just takes people a little bit of time to adjust, especially if you're not used to this kind of street ball. Um, speaking of street ball, that that NBA Playground game is coming out soon. Well, is it soon or is it? I think it's this month. It's gonna be like twenty or thirty dollars or something like that. So, anyways, I, I saved this video for I I think for a reason. Let's see why I saved it. I can't honestly can't remember why. These are old videos. I just didn't have time. Um, but that was nice. I don't know how the Kim didn't block him, but what's that fool's name? Blackie Chan. <laughs> Blackie Chan. That's clown. I haven't really been playing this as much. Um, after the event went over, or there was an event for April Fools on here where you can get, um, I don't know how many matches you had to win, but um, I mean, you can get the skill points, you can get the, all the stuff you can normally get. Extra points, um, extra skill points, and shoot, there was one more. I can't remember what it was. Either way, you could have got it. I think it's still going on right now. It might still be going on until like the end of the month or something. It was April Fools. It was for April Fools, and basically, um, you could tell it was April Fools because the basketball was a melon or it was a tennis ball, st stuff like that. It wasn't a normal basketball that we were playing with, which I thought was funny. I always laugh when people when people keep screaming out defense, but then they get schooled, or maybe somebody takes them to the hole or something. Um, I mean, it happens to the best of us, but like, if you could tell intentionally, like somebody on your team's not playing defense. So yeah, like, like I play my role, but somebody's not getting that Kim right there. That Kim was wide open; she could have busted the ass. So I don't know. It's like people seem to exclude themselves. How did he steal something that he's not even in front of? Better not make that. Oh, I wanted to get that shit so bad. I think because Killing Floor was pissing me off. Oh, I played with Killing Floor too before. I think he was really, really ball hogish. This was in the beginning too. So both of these guys I played with um, near when the game first came out. I I remember seeing their names. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna mistake Theo, and I ain't gonna mistake Killing Floor because I like Killing Floor. Um, we seem to be doing pretty damn well right now though. But yeah, sometimes you just, I know, like I said, people have to adapt, they have to get used to the game, maybe not used to street ball, or NBA, NBA street type games, um, I don't know, I, I like this game, it's really fun, I just wish there was more ways to earn stuff in the game, I mean, I like that they're, I like that they're doing, look at that, fucking smooth ass pass, no credit to Big Dog, uh, I like when they do these little events though, I think the events make the game fun, you can earn more stuff, and... I mean, what else could they possibly do? What's the next event gonna be? All the stuff has been like, just play with your friends, or wait, wait, not play with your friends, just play as a group or win matches or something like that. So nothing really spectacular, like, um, I don't know, at least they're keeping the game updated. I see patches and stuff every now and then. Um, the game's not starting over like it used to. The game used to always start over. It used to always start over. Or wait, not start over, it used to always freeze. It would freeze, or um, it'll kick you to the to the PlayStation 4 menu. I don't know how many times you guys have seen that shit, and then you lose a match or count it as a match. Another thing I didn't like is that like if if the game if the game just started, it will say sometimes it will say no contest, and then sometimes it'll be like, look at this guy, he's cocky as fuck. He had two people open that were actually shooters, and he wanted to go in and take a shot. One of their Joey's. Which Joey was it? I don't know which Joey it was on their team. He was ball hogging the hell out of that shit. And that Kim and him were open. They could have easily have had. They could have easily have only been, what, five points down? Alright, we're back. Round two. Um, still people are, people make me laugh how they don't know how to how they don't know how to change their character after the first half. Now, some characters have more stamina, granted. Some people don't use as much stamina, so their character's not even halfway tired. But it's just its just funny. You see this shit right here? Like, I'm, I'm wide open. Well, it's Kim. She could shoot it. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. I still see people doing weird shit in this game, which amazes me. Because this game's been out too long for people to be playing like that. You know? 
All you gotta do is apply all the shit that you played in the past. Look at this. Can he hit this? I want to get a shot, but I was like, could have easily have passed it to Kim. But I want to get some kind of points. I mean, we're already dominating these guys. I believe the forfeit button's in play right now. Look at that. I'm open. Oh, he has alley oop. I didn't. Even, I think this is the first game I recognized that um that um Pedro had actually alley oop. I didn't know he had an upgrade for an alley oop, which is crazy. He must be highly leveled up then, because I don't see a lot of Pedros that have the uh, have the action. So it's all good. This is something to look forward to if I actually start picking him, because he has more. Um, you know, a lot of people still with him, and I mean, his upgrade is still has to be amazing. Definitely something. I'm wide open. No, not gonna get to. Still open. Wow. Yeah, I call for the. I'm wide open like a hundred times. And you don't give me the ball. That's probably why I saved the match because I want to call out people like that. We're already dominating. I mean, some people are going for some fucking high score, right? Oh, I want to get like 50 points in one game. Look at this shit. I keep trying to get Lulu to activate her um her school bus dunk, but it's not happening. All right. I don't know who called timeout, but I definitely I, it definitely doesn't matter at this point in time. Still got a minute and whatever left. I doubt you guys make 15, 20 points within that time period. Look at Lulu, baby. Lulu. There you go. For some reason, I feel like I miss a lot of alley-oop dunks. Um, even though my characters are dunkers, um, or they have high dunks on points. I don't know if it's because I'm holding the wrong button. I mean, I push, I push the triangle button. Or I hold the triangle button after, and it's still some. Most of the time, I'm gonna say majority of the time, my guy will miss wide open. Majority of the time, my guy will actually miss a dunk. Do one of these guys just rage quit? I don't know what the hell happens here. It feels like it. It feels like it. But like I said, I played with these guys before, and both of these guys, I played with them. I don't know what the opposite team. They look new. Look like they may be a little bit new. Um, everybody's trying to be on teams. They're trying to like. Um, here we go, here we go. Here you go. I wanna see See I pass him the ball, but you know he this killing face guy, he just wants the ball regardless, you know. Must be a little kid. If you're watching this, I hope you're a little kid. Because like I said, there's plenty of times when I'm wide open and you won't do you won't do Lulu any justice, man. And it's been like that in the past. And I actually remember sending you a message and it wasn't a good one. It was like, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you ball hogging? Stuff like that. I remember this shit. And I might even send Theo one too. I don't know. I just That's probably why I wanted to record this video. Because I want these guys to find the video and explain themselves. Or if they, or if they remember me, you know? Because I don't know. I just get tired of that. I understand you have a shooter character. And we're winning. There's no need to do anything extra. But... Or you think there's that the regular the rest of the team doesn't want to have any kind of fun? It's like I feel like I was doing a lot. Like if I'm just rebounding all the time, I'm playing tight defense. Come on, Lulu, good shot. So we're up by what? 22. Here we go. Last seven seconds. <laughs> this guy didn't know what the fuck he was doing. <laughs> Anyways, man, this shit's over. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, it wasn't as spectacular maybe I just wanted to call out some of these players on how they play and I mean I had people I I talk crap on like well not crap all right I told them how they shouldn't be playing right and then they send me a, they talk shit to me but then they send me a friend request what the fuck does that mean anyways hope you guys liked make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you look out for more videos and I'll catch you guys later game day out